418 is the time right now. Now for a Fox 5 News alert. Maryland Governor Larry Hogan has declared a state of emergency for the next 30 days to help hospitals overwhelmed by COVID-19 patients. Hogan says the next four to six weeks may be the toughest yet of the pandemic. Some predict COVID hospitalizations in this state could top 5,000. Governor Hogan is taking two major actions. He's calling in 1,000 members of the National Guard to help local health departments deal with the emergency response. And he has authorized Maryland's health secretary to address shortages in hospital staff and supplies. The Montgomery County Council has voted to update the indoor mask mandate to help prevent the spread of COVID-19. You now need to wear a mask inside any public building in the county through at least January 31st, but that could be extended even longer. The prior mandate would have ended when the county reached 85% COVID vaccination rate, but it currently stands at 83. Additionally, the Board of Health will meet every two weeks to reevaluate the mandate. Also in Montgomery County, each school is being color coded to determine when it's time to close and switch to virtual learning. 11 schools are now red and will start the second half of the year with virtual learning. Red means 5% or more of unrelated students have tested positive for COVID-19. The district says more than 5,600 students and staff have tested positive over winter break. Parents of D.C. public school students have until 4 p.m. today to upload their child's COVID test results. Now, if you still need a COVID test for your child, you can pick it up at an at-home test beginning at 8.30 this morning. All D.C. public school students and staff must submit proof of a negative COVID test before returning to the classroom tomorrow. Students and staff were supposed to return yesterday, but it was pushed back one day due to Monday's snow. And two big updates coming yesterday from the CDC. The agency has updated its guidance on isolation for people with COVID-19. Officials now say you can end isolation after five days if you've been fever free for 24 hours without medication and your other symptoms have improved. You should still wear a mask though at home and in public for another five days. Also yesterday, the CDC said people who got the Pfizer vaccine can now get a Pfizer booster after five months instead of six. Coming up, Eagles quarterback Jalen Hurts now demanding action from the Washington football team after he was nearly toppled by fans when a barrier collapsed during Sunday's game at FedExville. Meanwhile, the Washington football team is trying to move forward from that incident as well as the franchise's old name. We're going to tell you when Washington's new name and logo will be announced. I heard you good with them soft lips.